Luxembourg becomes the second country in the European Union to legalize cannabis. Now, have you ever heard of Luxembourg? Where is Luxembourg? How many people live there? What are their colors? Well, their colors are red, white, and blue. So that's a good start. So, looks beautiful. Never been there, but might consider going now. We'll see. Lawmakers in Luxembourg on Wednesday approved a measure to legalize marijuana for personal use, making it only the second country in the European Union to take such a step. Hey, we're making moves. One is two. Who's going to be the third? According to Forbes, a majority of 38 MPs voted on Wednesday in favor of a bill legalizing cannabis home cultivation and possession for recreational purposes, while 22 MPs voted against it. Now, I don't know, but I'm guessing MPs is uh, just abbreviation for their congressional uh, representatives and things like that. The legalization of adult use of cannabis in Luxembourg allows for the possession, consumption, and cultivation of up to three grams. However, possession, com consumption, transportation, and purchase of cannabis in public spaces remains prohibited. Almost said something a little, a little different back then. The penalties have been reduced with fines ranging from $27 American to $544 American for amounts up to three grams. However, if the possession exceeds three grams, people may face criminal proceedings lasting from eight days to six months. Now, accompanied by fines ranging from $273 to $2,700. Regarding cultivation, households are permitted to grow up to four plants as long as the cultivation is not visible from the outside. How, how, what does that matter? Why would it matter if you can view the plants? They're beautiful anyway. Why would it? I don't want to see you drinking from the outside then. How about that? I don't want to see your beer posters. I don't want to see the, the kegs on your porch. If you're going to be treated like alcohol, which is everybody's saying, I want to be treated just like alcohol. Well, that's not equal, but I digress. And uh, I want to point out something real quick. It says people may face criminal proceedings lasting from eight days to six months. Now, I'm not a lawyer and this is not legal advice, but it looks like the wording says face criminal proceedings. I don't know if it says charges or penalties. Let's get down. I'm sure it does, but let's get down. Legalization in Luxembourg, a small country of about 666,000 people, is bordered by France, Belgium, and Germany. It's been a long time coming. Now let's look where Luxembourg is. Luxembourg is right in the heart, in between landlocked, in between Germany, Belgium, France, kind of by Switzerland, and then uh, Netherlands are a little bit north of it, and uh, England's about you know, west, northwest of it. And hey, this is cool. Luxembourg, their colors are red, white, and blue. Hey, that's interesting correlation. Correlation's not causation, but hey, maybe we could get this red, white, and blue to follow that red, white, and blue in this issue. Let's keep going. Back in 2018, the country's government pledged to end prohibition by 2023. In 2021, officials in Luxembourg released a plan to allow individuals to cultivate up to four plants in their own homes. That same year, the government announced that Luxembourg's marijuana, marijuana laws would be changing. Well, that's great. Finally, uh, it's reassuring to see politicians uh, or governments living up to their pledges um, whether it takes them a long time or not, at least they're living up to it. Um, so they can grow and cultivate up to four plants in their own homes that same year. And by 2023, they just changed it. And not even at the 11th hour. It's not even November. It's still got six months to go. So, hey, they're ahead of schedule. <laughs> if that's the way we want to think about it. Quote, we thought we had to act. 
We have an issue with drugs, and cannabis is the drug that is most used and is a large part of the illegal market. And we addressed that last time, the reason why it's part of the illegal market. Okay, we talked about that. Luxembourg Minister of Justice Sam Tamson said at the time, we want to start by allowing people to grow it at home, which they did. The idea is that a consumer is not in a legal situation if he consumes cannabis and that we don't support the wholly legal chain from production to transportation to selling where there's a lot of misery attached. Yeah, that sounds logical. We say that all the time. Hey, the drug dealers are the middlemen. That's where the shady stuff happens. Cut out the middlemen. You cut out a lot of shady stuff. Uh, in theory. The vote on Wednesday by Luxembourg lawmakers makes the country the second in the EU to legalize pot, following Malta, which legalized recreational cannabis in 2021. Malta? Ever heard of Malta? I have, but have you? I've heard of the Knights of Malta. Let's. Where's Malta? Malta is right in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. And by Tunisia, off the coast of Italy, Greece, and Libya, the middle of nowhere. Um, for two very small countries, these are two very big decisions. But hey, props to Malta and Luxembourg. Unlike Malta, Luxembourg has not established the frameworks for cannabis social clubs. Well, it looks like I need to cover Malta and maybe go there too. They have some social clubs. I like to be social. You know, who doesn't like to be social? Well, introverts a lot. Anyway, Luxembourg has, therefore, adopted a more restrictive legalization model that will allow cannabis users to consume cannabis with specific rules without facing fines and criminal charges according to Forbes. Given the current legal framework in the EU, which prohibits member com countries from establishing a legal framework for adult use cannabis, it is expected that those EU member countries that are making efforts to regulate cannabis will likely adopt a model similar to that of Luxembourg and Malta. So they're assuming that as EU member countries legalize cannabis one by one or in groups, they adopt a model similar to that of Luxembourg and Malta. So Luxembourg and Malta, two of the smallest countries in Europe, are trying to be the trendsetters and framework guidance for these rest of these countries. Now, it makes sense because smaller population, it's easier to do you know a pilot program with a smaller population. It would be easier to, to roll out, in theory. It's like rolling out legal cannabis in Rhode Island versus legal cannabis in California, which if you're in the industry in California, you know it is a mess. Yeah, it's legal, but it is a mess in the way things work. I would guess that Rhode Island, it's I'm just a country the size of that uh, would have an easier time making adjustments. You don't want to roll something out on a massive scale first. You want to do it, you know, scale it up. And that has to do probably with everything. So more from the outlet. This is the case of Germany. So we were talking about who maybe the next country might be to legalize would be maybe Germany. Let's take a guess for Germany. Let me know in the comments. Do you think it, Who do you think the next European country to legalize cannabis is going to be? Let me know. Is it going to be Germany or do you think it'll be somebody else? Germany faced the weight of high expectations regarding the legalization of cannabis. Initially, Germany aimed to establish a legal market for selling cannabis products. However, due to the European legal restrictions, it had to back up from its original plan and instead develop a framework centered around the legalization of cannabis for personal use. This framework includes provisions for personal consumption, possession, and cultivation as well as the establishment of cannabis social clubs. Yay! Germany's on the list. Additionally, a pilot program for the sale of adult-use cannabis in specific cities is expected to be introduced at a later stage. A draft law about the legalization of cannabis for personal use in Germany is expected to be introduced in mid-August. Okay, stay tuned for that. 
The reason why European countries, this is important. This is really interesting. So I want to emphasize this at the bottom. I'm going to read this. The reason why European countries that have regulated cannabis have stricter regulations compared to the U.S. states, which have established legal markets for the sale of cannabis products in recent years, is mainly due to the risk of violating international conventions and European laws that forbid the regulation of cannabis for recreational use. Now, this is interesting. It says risk of violating international conventions and European laws. This international conventions, I'm going to dive into on a later video, but I want to just put a little uh, preview right here. International conventions. Now, do you know who controls the schedulization of cannabis throughout the world? Let me know in the comments if you do. But there's an international treaty that countries abide by about cannabis, which is very interesting because it kind of narrows down to who actually controls a bunch of stuff. But have you ever heard of, a, of an international cannabis convention and agreement and European laws other than the ones that individual countries? Most people haven't. So that's interesting to note. But all that aside... Congratulations to Luxembourg. Red, white, and blue, baby.